Dave, I understand that you dropped out of film school? I after did. Two, two years? Yeah. Yeah. Curious what classes you would have preferred them to teach you. Ugh. <laughs> I, <laughs> Sorry to bring this up. No, it, it's, it's fine. I, I would just never do it. I don't, it's not like I wanted to learn in that way. I just wanted to, to make videos and learn by myself. I'm just like, when knowing now that, that in around that time YouTube was just starting to become a thing and uh, you could find a tutorial on anything if you were troubleshooting something or having if you didn't know how to work a specific like editing function or, or a lighting issue um, I just wanted to, to teach myself when I hit a roadblock I just knew how easy it was to find the answer on the internet and also not go into debt and also I was very fortunate to ha have <clears throat> my best friend uh, was at USC and was making all these wonderful friends in film and television and music and uh, I ended up just kind of mooching off of his experience really I dropped out of school and I uh, would hang out with um, these dudes and start making videos with them because they were so talented and funny and that's it, it was just so, such a natural like yeah I don't need to spend money on school when I can just do it myself and I have pretty much everything I need with a camera and some funny friends. This was for the Good Neighbor? YouTube That's Good Neighbor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so we started Good Neighbor in like 2006. Um, yeah, right, right, right around the time that Kyle graduated college. And I was doing like freelance editing and I, you learn so much more from just like having a job or PAing or, or assistant editing. And film is a very specific world in which I don't think you really need to go to film school. That being said, some film schools are like like USC, which is so great at developing the community and like the, really the relationships that end up being the the thing that truly becomes the the reason you spent all that money. But all the gear and the history of film and the lessons you can learn about, you know, how to direct a scene or whatever, all that stuff is in books and on the internet and directors or actors giving talks and um, it's just my opinion that I just don't think film school is necessary for filmmakers but I don't want to discourage someone who really wants to learn that way. Sure, sure. Yeah. Did you realize that the film Briggs Speed Bear was going to be such an inspiration for sort of fan obsessed filmmakers because it's an no. incredible story in itself? It's probably one of the best movies I've seen so far. Oh my god, thank you. And, I, um, but it, it caters to people who are just obsessed with movies. Well, we knew we definitely felt that it was a um, a love letter to storytelling and filmmaking and the movie going experience. Uh, but you never want to make something with the expectation of it uh, having that type of reception. I just think that that's unhealthy to to hope for that or expect that. Uh, we were just trying to have fun and make something that we liked and that maybe our friends liked, but. Yeah, we weren't trying to build uh, any type of obsession or, or um, you know, uh, it's always nice to hear that people are inspired by it, but I was never thinking, like, I'm going to make a film that everyone's inspired by, um, which and is definitely not everyone, but it's, uh, it's very nice to hear that people, it, it gives people that energy of, of oh, I want to, I'm excited to go make a video after watching this movie. Like that that's a cool feeling. So sort of like the YouTube videos because you never know when the audience is going to relate to one of your comedy skits versus not it's hit or miss. Yeah, it's uh again, with every internet video we made, even our SNL sketches, we're trying to be the best we can at not catering to any audiences and just trying to make each other laugh or each other feel or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, the, the repetition of all those videos and, and that we've made the hundreds over the years was so instrumental going into making this film. And this film really is a, it mirrors both Kyle and, and my experience as best friends who fell in love with filmmaking together. And the movie has a lot to do about 
collaborating with the best friend and, and falling in love with telling stories. So it's a very meta um, experience and it's super special. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah.